Assalamualaikum and good day. This video will show you how to identify safety factor of slope using Thelonious method. Let's start with the drawing skill. Next, identify the first point to set the angle of slope. The figure showed the angle of slope is 30 degrees. Place the protector ruler on top of the starting point and draw a line with a 30 degrees angle. Identify the height of slope. Start from the starting point using the determined scale. After the slope height was determined, draw the specified upper slope edge length. With the slope radius given in question, set the compass pencil. Place the needle at the starting point and draw the arc. Repeat the same process but the needle is changed at the end of upper slope edge length. The cross arc will result a point center of slope angle. Using this point as a center, draw a slope curve start from starting point until at the end of upper slope edge length. Cut the slope into 5 slices as question needed. Suggested to cut the slope by the same width. Prepare the table form like this so that calculation process will be more easier. Now, we are going to fill up the Z column. Z is the depth of each slice. To determine the Z, Draw the middle line for each slice down under the slope. Measure the length which is only inside the slope. Fill up the column by each of slice number. Next, the value B is equal to the width of slice. Now, alpha is equal to angle of slice. To determine the slice angle, do a line from the point of slope angle to the end of slice length. Mm -hmm. 
Use the protector ruler to determine an angle each of slice. Continue to fill up the rest of column by using a math calculation. Use all the provided data in question to complete the form. Not to forget, get the sum of L, W sin alpha and W cos alpha. By using the safety factor formula, determine the value of safety factor. If the value of safety factor greater than 1.0, we can say that the stability of slope are safe. Thank you for now. Until we meet again in another video. Bye.